Beth's having a bit of a bad day today, so she's kicking back on the couch and uh, she's got one of her reborn dolls and got a cat ball with it. She's been chatting to the spirit that's attached to the doll. It's actually not a reborn doll, to be specific. It's a knockoff reborn doll, so I won't go into the explanation of that. Now, her last count, Bev's got um, over 250 dolls. I gave up counting after that. She's been collecting quite a bit over the years, and a lot of the dolls have got residual energy with it, and there's quite a few that have spirit attachments. Now, before I play the vid, I just want to explain a little bit about spirit attaching to a doll or how can this be because there's a lot of people out there who can't understand that a spirit can attach to a doll. In the paranormal and spiritual world it's very known that there can be residual energy attached to a place, to land, to a house, to a piano, to a ring, to a car, to all sorts of things. That's the same with dolls. Now the thing is it's much more preferable for a spirit to um, cross over when a person dies the spirit crosses over but sometimes this doesn't happen and they become earthbound now what happens to the person is they connect themselves to an area that they're very familiar with there might be some sort of an emotional attachment to land to a house to a car to a ring you name it and the same goes with dolls. It's the same scenario. When a person dies and they don't cross over, if they have some sort of attachment to something, um, they tend to hover towards whatever it is, whether it's a land, a house, an object, car, even a doll. If they had some sort of an emotional thing with an object or a doll, they will hover around the doll. It's not like they're embedding themselves in the doll, it's like there's a spiritual cord, like it's an emotional cord attached to the doll. The spirit is free to roam around a house or roam around anywhere they want, but it's like a little bit of a bungee cord, it just pulls them back in, it attracts them back in to that doll. So that's how you can get a spirit attached to a doll, remembering that it's never inside the doll itself but there's an attachment to it so when you do find a spirit and doll um, if you're a medium if you're sensitive you'll pick up that there's a spirit around that doll attached to that doll you can use paranormal equipment i.e what we're going to show you cat balls you can use rem pods you can use k2s we've, we've used all sorts of different things to communicate with that spirit if you're a medium you can connect directly with that spirit that's attached to the doll it's no different that um, in a house being haunted or you know like a spirit hanging around a house or hanging around land or um, hanging around a car or attached to a ring you know hanging around a ring uh, there's no difference at all a doll is the same thing it's just an emotional attachment to a particular object, in this case being a doll. Um, the person may have loved and cherished the doll and that is giving them that earthbound connection. So they attach to the doll or wherever that doll happens to be. There's so many people who try to debunk um, spirited dolls. I don't like the word haunted doll because it's just got negative connotations there. Um, people tend to think if you call something haunted, it's a negative thing. In most cases, it's a very positive connection because it's a love connection from the person who's died, the spirit of the person who's died. It's a love connection to an item or a house, a place, car, whatever. Now, it must be said that if a person has died with a negative moral, um, they've got like negative energy, you know, it's like a, a, a negative motives and, and all that sort of stuff. So you can have items out there and houses and cars and 
rings and stuff that the vibe of those things are negative now the thing is um, I'm a seasoned medium I would not allow anything negative in my house Beth is a very strong very good medium and she can pick up and sense even from a photo whether a doll is positive or negative and generally she doesn't go out seeking these dolls she just happens to be on these different doll sales pages and things or she happens to go to op shops or she happens to be in places and she feels you know she might feel an attraction to a doll um, she never feels she knows what's what's you know the difference between positive and negative and she would never ever bring into the house anything that is negative she always is attracted to the positive things generally it's a spirit who needs help crossing over or is just happy being around the doll um, they may have the emotional things or they may have their life issues there's lots of storylines with the spirit when you start communicating with them um, and we've got quite a few of uh, the spirit that attached to dolls within the house or around the house and they pop in from time to time we use cat balls and we use different paranormal gear but we also use our senses and we also use our medium abilities to be able to communicate with them now in this vid I just wanted to show you a very brief thing Beth's not in a good way today so she's been laying back with one of her dolls and she's got a cat ball with it and she's just been having a bit of a chat to the spirit that's connected to the doll and you'll see that the cat ball is flashing uh, it's almost like it's answering questions that she's asking now she can connect directly with the spirit but she does like to use the cat balls and things like that to show the public that these things are for real they can happen and that spirit can attach to a doll um, you know there's the I don't believe in the Annabelles personally I don't believe in that type of doll because for me um, you know people are saying that there's a demonic sort of presence that it's at, attached to the doll or whatever well if it's attached to the doll there's no use putting it in a glass case because the spirit or the demonic energy can roam anywhere it bloody well wants to so it's not going to be entrapped in a case um, and if it's a human spirit it certainly won't be trapped anywhere you know it's free to roam anywhere it wishes to and there's nothing you can do to stop that you can block that you can definitely block that sort of thing there are ways and means of doing it but in reality a de demonic energy would not attach to a doll there is no reason for a demonic motive uh, I've worked with lots of different types of demonic energies and basically their motive is to control the living not an inanimated object okay so as far as i'm concerned anything they call a demon doll is just a load of twat waddle all right um sure a human energy may be attached to that particular doll or whatever and it may have a negative motive or a moral but it's certainly not a demonic one anyway i'm just going to show you this little uh vid a very brief thing and um I hope that explains a little bit about how a human spirit or why a human spirit attaches to a doll it's because or an, any other object really because basically it's a familiar thing to them um, and when they a person dies they like to be around things that are familiar and this is why you'll get attachments to different objects including dolls there you go here comes the vid hello 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 mama Oh no.
Let it set it for me. Good girl. Want any Jerry to come over? Yes. Let it settle for me for a minute. You want to stop? You want to stop? No, you're not going to stop. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you something? I need the cat call in there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Enjoying the cuddle. Got Annie Jerry to come over? Mm, you're going back to sleep, I think. <laughs>